Hey guys, it's Applement. Welcome back again to my channel. And I just want to apologize for not posting for a few weeks. Uh, that is because we got a new puppy and it has been absolutely crazy ever since he keeps us very, very busy. His name is Pepper and he is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, which has been my dream dog breed basically my whole life. So we are very excited to welcome him into the family. So with that said, before we get into today's video, I'd just like to quickly thank today's video sponsor. I'd like to thank FlexiSpot for being the sponsor of today's video and for sending me this amazing desk. As you guys know, I run my online shop full time alongside my YouTube channel. So it's really important for me to have a desk that I can work at and not kill my back because as somebody with a lot of back issues, having a desk that can be converted from a sitting to a standing position is extremely helpful for my posture overall. And this desk, has a button panel where you can press, you can manually raise or lower the desk to your liking, or you can even set some presets for yourself. So as you can see, I pressed the number two and I set that for standing at the maximum height so that I can pack orders here comfortably. And it just works really, really well. I like it a lot. And the desk itself is really great quality. It's 55 inches, so it's super big and it's got two tiers, <laughs> making it easy for me to store things on the top and the bottom. But yeah, I love this desk and I just wanna thank FlexiSpot again for sending it to me and for allowing me to share it with you guys. And I will have links in the description for you guys to check this out. Pepper, you like the desk? I'm gonna take that as a yes. So for today's video, I thought I would share with you, uh, you know, just some info about what's been going on in my life recently, and also uh, a piece of artwork that I recently finished and am pretty proud of, uh, but also I guess I wanna talk about some of the flaws in this piece and some of the things I'd like to keep improving and making better. Uh, and the ways I tried to push myself with it. So yeah, a bit of a ramble today. Hope you enjoy it. Um, first, the piece itself. As you can see, I'm currently sketching it out and the idea I roughly had in my head when I was coming up with a sketch for this was to have somebody leaning out over a balcony looking out and I wanted to add a background with this because it's not something I do all the time. Um, although more of my pieces this past year have had backgrounds, so it is something that I'm trying to push myself to do just so pieces are more finished illustrations rather than just character drawings, which is something that I just want more of overall. So I tried to play around a little bit with perspective here. As you can see, I added in some guidelines going to the back corner there. Um, though I did notice <laughs> that I definitely made some mistakes here in terms of the perspective, specifically with the wall on the left side. Um, looking at it now, it's definitely not 100% correct. Uh, and also the shelves behind her on the right side. They're definitely tilted, I think, a little bit too much. Um, you know, they, they're a little bit too horizontal, I guess I could say, if that makes sense. It, during the piece, I kept pulling back and I kept looking at these things. And I didn't want it to look wonky, but then, you know, I thought it looked okay. And then once I finished it and I stepped back, I was like, oops. <laughs> so that happens sometimes, um, but, I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit when I know that I made a mistake with something, but I am a firm believer that, you know, practice is practice. And even if you make mistakes in your practice, if you're recognizing them and you're trying to improve them for the next time and so on, I think that's definitely something that is helpful. So, you know, it's, it's better to try it and mess up than not try it at all, basically is what I'm saying. So I'm hoping in my next pieces that I try a little bit of perspective, I can get it down a little bit better. I think I should have stuck to my perspective guidelines or maybe even made better perspective guidelines in the first place because this all started from drawing her first rather than really also just focusing on the background separately. I kind of was focusing more on her background second, which is always what I do, but you know, I probably could have benefited from focusing on the background a little more, <laughs> but anyway, Right, so that is a little bit of information about my uh, about my process with the piece and I guess the background behind it and my struggles. 
but it has been absolutely crazy in my life recently with the holidays coming up and just a lot of projects I'm working on. Um, things have been a little bit all over the place and I feel really bad for having missed a few weeks in a row on YouTube. I Sometimes I miss a week here and there, but I don't typically miss two weeks in a row. And like I said, we just got Pepper a week ago. Um, the week before that, we were heavily preparing. It was kind of like the home stretch and there was a lot of breeder issues, I guess you could say. There was a breeder that I had found that she seemed okay and she seemed good and I had done a ton of research on this dog, this dog breed, because there's a lot to know if you're getting a Cavalier King Charles. Um, you have to be very responsible with the breeder that you find. I, I did look at, at shelters nearby. They didn't have any Cavaliers. Um, I did actually give up on the search for a Cavalier for a little bit because they're very hard to get right now. They're very in demand, as are most dogs, and they're very expensive in my area. So I was looking at shelters with Ryan for a bit, but, um, you know, every dog that we applied to or applied for, we either didn't hear back or we got a no. <laughs> there's, there's so much demand for dogs right now, which is a really good thing. I'm glad that people are out there and trying to adopt so that is great but when we were looking uh, I had found a website that connected me with a bunch of breeders and I had reached out to a bunch of them and I heard back from one who was across the country and things seemed to be working out for a while we were set to get him two weeks ago but at the last minute I don't know things weren't adding up and I to make a long story short I backed out because I just didn't feel right about supporting that breeder. She was charging us a large amount of money and didn't have the health documents and really just the responsibility to back up everything that she was doing. And we didn't want to support somebody like that. We didn't feel right about it. So we pulled out and I was connected <laughs> from another breeder with somebody else who breeds dogs for show. Um, she is a very responsible breeder. She breeds to better the dog breed as a whole because a Cavalier is very prone to heart issues and a lot of things that the breed suffers from. And um, this breeder, as well as a few other ones that I know, aim to try to breed healthier dogs overall so that they can continue the line uh, and make the breed healthier as time goes on overall. I mean, that is the goal. And they also breed for show, which you need to pay very close attention to the health of the dogs uh, when you're doing show and they need to, you know, they need to be bred correctly. And it's, it's very costly to breed for show because they're doing so many medical tests and everything to make sure the dogs are healthy. So that made me feel a lot better. And the woman that we got Pepper from was great. And he was flown here with a woman uh, in the passenger area of the plane and we met her at the airport last week and it was the best thing in the whole world. For any of you who have a dog or who have ever gotten a pet before, you probably know the feeling of seeing your new pet for the first time and being very excited. So it was a very exciting week last week and I was trying to put this video out um, then but I guess the topic changed a little bit now that I'm going on about the dog, but yeah, everything has been a little bit all over the place. He's definitely been testing our patience <laughs> with some things. Um, and as he gets more comfortable here and more confident, he definitely becomes a little bit more of a troublemaker. But we love him a lot and I wouldn't trade him for anything. He is a very good boy. So expect to see him in more of my videos in the future. <laughs> he's a very, he's sleeping right next to me right now as I do my voice over and he's such a sweetie. So we're very excited about him and I hope you guys love him. Also, I have an Instagram page for him because why wouldn't I, right? I am so excited to show pictures and things he's doing from day to day. So you can follow him at Sweet Boy Pepper on Instagram. That is his handle and I will post the link in the description as well. So definitely give him a follow. He won't know that you're following him. He doesn't even know what Instagram is, but I do. So <laughs> if you want to see more cute pictures and videos of him, please follow him there. Anyway, uh, I'm just putting the finishing touches on my illustration, some of the lighting, some of the details. So I hope you liked this drawing. I really like the way it came out, but like I said, it definitely has its flaws, but overall I'm happy with it. 
Uh, and as always, you can check out all of my links in the description box below my online store, which I'm having Black Friday sales and deals right now. So go check that out. My Instagram page, my Discord server, and uh, my Patreon pin club, all that is there, as well as the link to our sponsor for today. So check everything out. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays, and I'll see you all next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, as always. Bye-bye. Thank you.